All right, so I have a mouse problem up in my attic, and I'm going to make a five gallon bucket trap. The normal mouse traps I have that have been baiting with peanut butter, they've been setting off and it's not catching them at all. I've even tried tying a piece of pecan to the little setter. I guess it's not, they're not putting enough pressure on it to spring the trap. So I'm gonna make a little uh, five gallon bucket trap, fill it up with three inches of water in the bottom. Uh, when they fall in, hopefully it'll drown them and I won't have to worry about the trap setting off. I'm gonna take a uh, paper towel holder, cut it in half, and I'm gonna put it on this metal cold hanger that I'm gonna run through the five gallon bucket. Bait it with some peanut butter and when they try to jump on it, it'll spin, knock them into the water, and then they'll drown from there. All right, so I made an update to my five gallon mouse trap. The one I originally tried, um, close hanger with a can on the middle, put peanut butter, it worked. I caught one mouse, but I came up with a design, or I saw a design on YouTube that seemed to work a lot better. And what it is is a cardboard platform with a weight on the end of it, and you put peanut butter on the other, so it's kind of a walk the plank type deal. Mouse runs up, gets on the cardboard, feels safe. And then as it walks towards the peanut butter, the plank basically falls out from under it and goes completely vertical. And the mouse dumps into the um, bucket of water. So I ended up catching 10 mice last night with this one trap. So I'll roll a clip, show you guys what it looks like. It's very simple to build. And then I'll show you video of the mouse actually using the trap. All right, so here's the mouse trap I was telling you guys about. I put a piece of two by two just here on the end, kind of screwed up onto the end of that cardboard. And I put the clothes hanger on this side, probably about a third of the way down that cardboard. And I did about two thirds on the other side. So what happens is this piece of wood will reset the trap when the mouse falls in the bucket. I have just a couple one by fours on each side to get them up on the rim. What's going to happen is they'll run up here, they'll see the peanut butter, and they'll just run her along the rim here, get on this piece, run down, and then this will just flip up. And then with this weight, it comes right back. Now you do have to, if you're outside like this one is, and it's a little bit of a little windy, Sometimes that wind will catch this and keep it up and it won't work that night. But other than that, this one works great. I did cut out a little bit of a lip here. I went down and then just cut all the way around to the other side here. Just so that it would sit a little bit flatter with this uh, clothes hanger here. So I'll show you guys how that worked. And then I'll roll some clips for y'all. 